Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, I will show you how to downgrade this bad boy here back to iOS 4.1. So this is an iPod Touch fifth generation, uh, third generation, sorry. And it's running iOS 5.1.1. So today in this video, I will show you how to downgrade that bad boy back to iOS 4.1. So this is not this is fully untethered and it's not a special version. Okay, this boy just turned off. So, okay, the battery died. So I'm just gonna charge that boy. Yeah. So basically, we're gonna downgrade that boy back to as 4.1. So it's the original IPSW. So as you can see on Safari. You go to ipsw.me, scroll down on iPod, go to iPod Touch third generation, and as you can see here, iOS 4.1 is still signed. So you're gonna click on that and download this firmware. After this, you're gonna take your iPod and put it in DFU mode. So DFU mode is just wait a second. So I just re-put the camera that you can see the iPod. So to go in DFU mode, you need to press power and home button for 10 seconds. So press them at the same time. Once this plays off, you can count down to from three, two, one, and then just keep pressing the home button until you'll see this message on your computer. So iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before you can use it with iTunes. So you click OK, open iTunes, and on a Mac, you're gonna click Option, Alt or Option. And on the Windows, you're gonna press Shift. So I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna press Option, and then Restore iPod. Then you're gonna locate the IPSW um, for the iPod and click open so then iTunes will erase and restore your iPod to iOS 4.1 and will verify the restore with Apple so click restore and right now I'm gonna speed up this portion of the video and see when it's done so guys the second step will begin soon and the iPod should boot and so you need to sync that boy to the computer and once this device has booted so now that's the second stage of the bar but this is as you know a pretty quick and pretty short one my side i just want to mention that i grabbed this iphone 5 for 10 bucks it's working perfectly side of the speaker um, the display usually was looking like this as you can see it's nothing just yeah so I put this on my other iPhone 5 you know from an older video I'll show you that so yeah this is working perfectly it's running 10.2 some trace missing and it's bent and on the back it's cracked um, I'm probably gonna review the iPhone 5 on iOS 10 as soon as I got a new display for this one. It's running iOS 10.1.1, so yeah. Let's come back to our iPod right now. So focus in. You can see set up as new iPod. Continue. And now... Uh, so... I can go back and see select to cancel. No need for this. This mouse, low battery. Now, as you can see, we have an iPod Touch third generation. See 32 gigabytes. I don't know if you can see if it will focus. Yeah, 32 gig. Jump into settings that you can see model number and stuff. 4.1, 32 gigs. You can see model numbers. The MC is the new version. It's running 4.1 perfectly, as you can see. Yeah guys, so this is it. 
this is how to downgrade your iPod Touch, third generation, back to iOS 4.1. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to put the link for the same video for the iPhone 3GS. As you can see, this is running switchboard for the moment, so that's the reason why it don't turn on. Um, so I got to put the link in the description or the link in the top right hand corner for this video for the iPhone 3GS as well. And hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one and peace out.